this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! Since last time, I backtracked to Tantar here, and well, apparently they're having some kind of ceremony around here, so let's go check it out! Oh yeah, the, the wedding that they were uh, talking about, they were starting to get ready for it. I was asking uh, why they couldn't uh, just have had the wedding before. I, I don't know why, but uh, someone was telling me. Ichi Bailey. The reason they couldn't have the wedding was because of the fake chief in the other village. I guess he wouldn't allow it or something. I don't think there uh, there's any lines of dialogue to specify that, but uh, well, I'll go along with it. Why not? Kind of makes sense there, I guess. So yeah, we want to rest up at the inn there. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, since last time, I stored away a bunch of stuff, sold excess equipment. Uh, I withdrew the cures from my inventory there. You'll want to hold on to those for later. Oh yeah, the ring I got last time. Uh, only Ryu can equip that for a, an attack boost of 10. Uh, someone was saying, Ichi Bailey, uh, the reason the Dark Dragons wanted the ring was because, well, since Ryu is the only one who can equip it, evidently it boosts Dragon Clan powers or something ridiculous like that. I don't know, so... Again, no dialogue to indicate that, but, well, I guess we can, uh, go along with it. Why not? Well, thank you. And they actually changed her sprite for the wedding. What a concept. Okay, sounds like a plan. Where's the, uh, Justice of the Peace, or whatever the guy who marries people is called? Ah, oh, sweet music. What, that's it? That's all you, you're, you're doing for the wedding? Oh, they must have gone with the short, short version. Are you, do you? Yes. Do you? Yes. Good. You're married. Kiss her. But, uh, oh, all right. We can get to the other side of the river now that we've, uh, had the wedding. All right. Congratulations. Just make sure you don't make him sleep on the floor. No. No, that was another game. Anyways. But, uh, well, yeah, all right. Oh, well, that was easy. I suppose we could have gone across the river a long time ago, but, uh, well, we might as well do that now. So I'll just meet you in the control room there. Or not. Nuts. What, did you just leave the keys in the ignition to a weapon of mass destruction right next to a village? What is wrong with you? Well, fortunately, uh, everyone was already out of the village for the wedding. So, uh, yeah, if you tried to go to uh, Tuntar, it would have been empty. So, what a coincidence! It's like any time an a, a skyscraper is destroyed in Power Rangers. It's always, like, part of the abandoned district of the city or something like that. <laughs> or something. Whatever. Okay, well, yeah, we gotta go into the robot now that it's stunned or recharging or whatever. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, let's just go in there. I'll meet you in the control room up top, same way as before. Okay, we've made it to the control room here. We're all healed up. Uh, I do want to equip Ryu with the long sword here. Oh, yeah. Have you the wing? I think I'm going to take the stone robot back from you instead. For boss time against the gremlin himself. Yeah, this guy is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game. So, uh, yeah, we want to be careful against him. Uh, let's uh, use attack up on Ryu there. I might use fort on him. Uh, now, the earth key is indeed better than Ryu's attack, even with... Uh, uh, the attack up on him. So, uh, yeah, let's just fortify Ryu, boost his defense just a little bit. Yeah, you see? Helps out a little bit there. So, okay. So now, what we want to do is Bo should be using Fry every round there. Ryu should be using Acorns on him when his MP is about to get too low. And, let's see, Mina... Yeah, you should just use the Earth Key for now. We do have those Elemental Stones, which I've been saving for this battle. 
but I don't want to use him right now because his second wind is far more dangerous. Uh, his, he has a huge second wind. It's just as big as his first wind there. So uh, you want to watch out for that. So let's use Fry on him now. Uh, Ryu, let's see. Yeah, use the Earth Key there. And Mina, let's heal up Ryu there. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that Bo and Ryu have about 100 max HP. So you want to keep an eye on that. Okay, so you use that. You use an Acorn on Bo there. And you use Kura on Bo there. So yeah, you see, he's got this multi-targeting attack that's really nasty. So the trick to winning this boss fight is making sure that you're healing your characters in sort of a rotation there. So that way you don't uh, ever fall behind on your healing. Now, Bo does have the ability to heal, but you don't want to get caught in sort of out of position with your healing there. So, uh... Like, if Bo runs out of MP and two characters need healing, that would be really, really bad. So, okay, so now we want to heal up Bo there. Now we want to start using those elemental stones with Ryu there. Uh, pretty much, once you get to a second wind, the gremlin is going to be using his multi-targeting attack every single round. And it's just going to be really, really bad for you. So, let's do that. How much do you have up? Okay, good, good. Okay, so you use Fry. You, let's start with the uh, Firestone there, and why don't you cure up Ryu there for now. So let's see, will I need two characters to heal this time? Uh, no, no, I think we're still good. Your priority, even though, yeah, you do want to use those elemental stones, your priority is to make sure that Bo has his MP, so uh, just keep on using those acorns on him. So let's see, let's heal up Nina there, we should be good. Fortunately, your healing spells will always have priority over the Gremlin, even though he's generally faster than you. Uh, unfortunately, your healing items won't be so good. So okay, let's use another uh, Fry there, start using those uh, Cold Stones that we got there, and let's use Cura 2 on Bo so he can get back up to max it. Remember, Cura 2 heals 100 HP, while the Cura spell only heals 50 HP. Hmm. Do I want Bo to join in on the healing? Probably not. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. But I do want uh, Nina to uh, heal herself there. So, and then we'll uh, use Cura 2 on Ryu next round. That. Okay. Uh, let's see. A good fry I'm to do. Let's use a cold... Wait, how much MP do you got? Okay. And I'm just a little paranoid because I usually forget to use my acorns every now and then. And let's see. A good cure two on Ryu there. Next round, I'll probably have to have Bo join in on the healing there because both Bo and Nina are going to need some healing there. Yeah, so every now and then, you just fall a little behind them. So, or we could actually just kill him to begin with. That works too. So yeah, that's how you defeat him. I mean, he's not really that hard as long as you uh, keep up on your healing there. Just got to kind of heal in a rotation there. But, uh, all right, got him. Well, you forgot to say the magic word. I do have the king key in my inventory, even though he was... Still somehow able to destroy that one village, but... Oh well. At least no one was in, inside the village. Well, at least now the uh, wolf clan can uh, go back to uh, the forest where they came from. What's with the volcano there? What are you doing? You want to blow open the volcano for us? Well, I just wanted to go sightseeing at the volcano. Uh oh. Nuts. What did you do that for? 
We didn't need you to sacrifice yourself to be food for the cannibals. No, no that was another game of yours. But uh, for his sacrifice, we get new world map music. All right. And uh, yeah, I guess he overflowed the volcano and it... Well, that's one way of letting us cross the river. You could have just thrown us over there or walked over there, but I guess the robot was a little sentient, I guess, and uh, didn't want to, didn't want his powers to be abused for evil or something like that. I don't know. But all right, so let's uh, heal up there and let's go check out this place, the Dragon Shrine. How's it going? Oh, nuts. Okay, yeah, you gotta put Ryu at the uh, head of the party there. You got your uh, long sword equipped? Good, good. Okay. What kind of seal? Let's find out. Okay, so uh, the reason I did not heal Ryu is because you, uh, well, have a healing pool right there. So that'll help us out. And let's grab that treasure over to the right. So, all right, we got melons for Ryu. Sounds vulgar. And here's a dragon god, so... All right, I'll pass the test as best I can. For test time! Okay. So, uh, against this guy, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh, you know what? Let's put Ryu in the back row there. I think he'll take a little less damage now. Uh, the reason I had him in the front row there before was... Well, to sort of tank damage, but since there's only one of us now, we might as well uh, leave him in the back row there. So let's use uh, our, those stones there, whatever we have left over. I was pretty much saving them for that gremlin fight, but uh, well, I guess I didn't really need them. So, all right, now that, whoa. Yeah, once you've uh, got him, or once you've used those elemental stones, pretty much the remainder of the fight is just using the earth key on him over and over and over again. The only reason I care about having long sword equipped is in case, well, I might have a counterattack. You never know. But, uh, yeah, the Earth Key is just better than actually attacking him with the long sword. Even if you're in the back row, it doesn't really matter because, uh, yeah, back row doesn't affect your... Back row doesn't affect your um, your physical your melee damage even even though in other RPGs it does. But anyway, so yeah, once you go below like 25 HP, you probably want to use a melon just in case he uh, gets like a critical hit on you or something, like you saw him do earlier there. So so yeah, just keep on going all out with that Earth Key, even though he's flying in the air. Right. I thought the Talon was a time-traveling thing, but, uh, apparently I was wrong. No, I was thinking of another game there. But yeah, this, is, this battle is why I withdrew all those, uh, cures from my inventory there, because you're gonna need them for this boss fight. I mean, not all of them, but, uh, we will need a lot of them, so. Go real with your counterattacks, holy cow. Usually I don't get quite this many uh, counterattacks, but we're doing pretty good. Maybe I won't need those cures after all. Maybe I should have saved those elemental stones for this fight. Well, whatever. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot you can do. But, oh well. Let's see, one more earth key, and then I'm gonna cure up again. Yep, now we need it. Probably can't kill him with another one, so, uh, yeah, we'll just play it safe. Don't want him to get a critical hit on us. And now we should be pretty good there. Uh, let's see. One or two more hits ought to do that. By the way, this is going to be the last fight that you'll need uh, the longsword for Ryu. So uh, after this one, you can pretty much sell them, keep boomerangs equipped on him for the remainder of the game. All right, got him. Yeah, that was easy. It just took a little while there. I am here to complete your training. But, alright, the seal has been broken! 
how are we doing here? Uh, all right, we are uh, automatically healed up after that one. Uh, let's see, we want to bring you back to the front row, and for defeating him, we get our first dragon spell. Basically, the way they work is you use it in battle, it transforms you into a dragon, and you, you're pretty much your attacks will cast spells on enemies, and they're, if they deal fixed damage, they're really good for boss fights. Uh, the more AP they cost, in general, the more damage they will deal. Although there are some times when bosses are susceptible to the weaker elements, so you may want to use those instead of Thunder Dragon, which is the most powerful one you got for now. But uh, yeah, they're pretty much only useful for boss fights. You're never going to use them during random battles because you're going to be fighting multiple enemies at a time where you'll want to use boomerangs instead of dragon spells. Not to mention they cost a lot, so you can pretty much only use them for uh, boss fights there sure my party is arranged appropriately. Okay, well, there we go. So now that we've crossed the river, let's head on south to the port town. Next time, let's play Breath of Fire. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, and enjoy the new world map.